Hey guys, if you want to learn how I dyed my Brazilian hair without bleach, keep watching. Woo! Um, first thing that you have to do is oil your scalp. You always have to keep the hair underneath your tracks maintained so your hair won't break out and it can actually grow. Um, my U part has the little clips, so right here I'm just unhooking every clip so when I put it in I can just make sure that it's going to fit perfectly on my head because I want my color to come out good. So. Now I'm just brushing the hair to make sure I detangle it before I put any chemicals or anything in the hair because if so, it's going to pull out the hair and you won't have anything left to even dye. So yeah, brush your hair before you do anything. Next, I'm getting a towel just to make sure that no dye gets on my skin. And the dye that I'm using is by Dark and Lovely, the Light Golden Blonde, and it's the number 384. The box comes with gloves, instructions, cream developer, conditioner, and a high lift booster. Just make sure you read the instructions before you start because everything will be just self-explanatory. So. I'm sorry for these faces, but this stuff is like, it smells like it's burning your follicles, like in your nose. I don't know what kind of smell it is, but it's like really strong. So that's why I'm making the face. But I'm starting the dye from the bottom and working my way up. Just finger combing it for right now, and then later I'm gonna add a comb just to add some like highlights and make sure that it reaches every part of the hair. And make sure that you're not going past the certain point you don't want the guy to change colors. So. Now I'm just finishing up with the dye and I'm taking a piece of aluminum foil and covering up the hair just so that the hair can change colors in a stable environment because I'm going to walk out the bathroom and run around and everything. Um, this is the hair after 30 minutes so that's just a little check. this is the finished product I hope you enjoyed the video right now I'm just rinsing out the dye and I'm about to add conditioner in it to put life back into the hair um, thanks for watching please visit my blog at www.teasedcurls.com so you can see my inspiration and more pictures about the hair so thanks for watching I love you guys and see you next time